Kevin Costner's emotional tribute at Whitney Houston's funeral caught many by surprise who only know him as a big screen tough guy. But the two-time Oscar winner has a deeply caring, compassionate side that I got to see up close this weekend as Kevin the musician helped comfort military families who have lost loved ones in the line of duty. When the angels came Walking all alone Kevin shares his voice with his band, Modern West, for The Angels Came Down. And I was there as the song played for grieving families at Fort Knox. They carried their souls beyond the moon and the sun all the way to heaven. Describe what the song means. It's talking about the last moment of a soldier's life, you know, the last breath they take. Who was with them? Were they alone? Were they afraid? And this song kind of takes all that away and says, no, that's not what happened at all. It's more about our hope, what happens. Kevin, well known for his support of the troops, was asked to speak at this dedication. Today we honor real soldiers. We honor their ultimate sacrifice. I make a, a pretend life, right? I pretend to be um, heroes. That's what I've gotten to play, but that doesn't make me one. The thing that every one of these men and women have in common is that they have faced that ultimate test. There were tears at the unveiling of the monument to five soldiers from the base, amongst 30 killed when their helicopter was shot down last August in Afghanistan. Chief Warrant Officer Brian Nichols, Specialist Spencer Duncan, Sergeant Alexander Bennett, Warrant Officer David Carter, Staff Sergeant Patrick Hamburger. I think watching those little girls walk up to see their daddies, trying to make sense of what they just saw, is like, I think it just, everybody's heart broke into a thousand pieces. Staff Sergeant Hamburger left behind his fiance, Candy Reagan. Now she's raising their three-year-old daughter alone. Explaining to the, the three-year-old where daddy's at. It's really difficult. Such emotions never go away. Just ask Jeanette Early and Norma Luther, currently presidents of the support groups, Gold Star Wives and Gold Star Mothers. When my son was killed, it was 24 years ago, April 5th. And so when I heard the words to that song, I'm so much more peaceful with it now. Are those words comforting to you? It's very comforting. It's so profound. And it gives you that rea realization that there is life after death. The women asked Kevin if they could adopt the song to promote their organizations, and he readily agreed. He's very special, and now just super special. Such an emotional event, honored to be a part. And after it was over, only I joined Kevin on his tour bus, where we talked all about his relationship with Whitney Houston. You will hear that in the days to come.